All so, right. oh, go ahead. Confidence high for you guys coming off that Oregon State win. How are you guys feeling? It's, uh, it's good to get back on the winning side of thing. You just said you guys were having so much more fun out there. Do you feel like you guys just really enjoyed being out there together more so than others? Yeah, it's fun. Winning's fun. And as long as we're winning, having fun. How do you emphasize the importance of this rivalry to the younger guys on the team, or do you need to? Nah, there's no, there's no saying. Uh, you don't need to say anything. They know what they came here for and to play in big games like this, and they're about to. What's it like playing in this type of game? It's, it's heated. It's, it's fun. It's everything that you that you wanted, and when you committed here at this school, so it's gonna be it's gonna be so fun. Yeah, can't wait. Jayon, you know a lot of the players on the team. Yes. Yeah. Have you had any discussions uh, during this week? Uh, not not yet. Not yet. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> not yet, but there will be. Does that maybe, know what you mean? <laughs> maybe I might get a couple of texts. Who knows? What, what, what are you gonna say? Uh, I'm not sure yet. I'm not sure yet. <laughs> what have you seen from their offense? And I know you've been used kind of a spy cover this season, and now you got Sam Darnold. What kind of a challenge is he? Their offense. This I think this is going to be one of the biggest challenges we got. We have this whole season. I think they have the best offense that we have, that we're about to go against uh, so far. They have electric receivers, a very good O line, and. The quarterback is very, very talented, so this, we're going to have to come in our end game. Jayon, you're closing in on 100 tackles. I don't know if you know that or if you even care, but uh, for you to be able to reach that mark possibly next week, what does that kind of mean to you? Just if a anything? fun stat. <laughs> <laughs> you may have been asked, sorry, but you know, being a, a poly guy growing up in Southern California, how much does that add to, to this week and, and kind of the chatter and the rivalry? It's fun just going against Juju and Biggie and all those guys over there. Uh, grew up with most of those guys and played against them throughout Pop Warner in high school. So it's going to be fun and hopefully we can get a win against, against them so I can, you know, talk, talk smack. <laughs> Does it feel like you, you've, you've faced like at least half their roster in high school? Yes, yes <laughs> both defensively and offensively. Mm -hmm. Does that kind of add to the uniqueness of this rivalry? Because obviously the schools are so close and they're kind of in the same recruiting market, so they're guys who have grown up pretty much with each other their entire lives. Yeah, the glory will be great after <laughs> a USC victory. So uh, getting a victory against those guys will be will mean everything. You guys didn't get that glory last year. Obviously, they got that win. So does it kind of add a little bit more on top of an already very, very full rivalry week that you guys need to get back on top? Yeah, we're definitely looking for revenge this uh, this Saturday at the Rose Bowl. So we got to come with it. This is the 10-year anniversary of a pretty significant UCLA win in the, in the rivalry. Do you do you remember that game? Did, did you watch that game? Or, uh, I can't remember. It was the 2006-13-9 game with uh, Patrick Cowan and uh, Tiff Pass at the end. You know, you yeah, yeah, probably, yeah, I probably didn't watch that one. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thanks. Yeah.